everyone, Tim Schofield here from QBKing77.com doing a video showing you how to get S off on your HTC One. It is finally available. It should work on your T-Mobile, AT&T, and Sprint HTC One, and also on the latest WWE and EU RUU for your international variants as well. So, uh, again, this will give you S off. You will need to, a uh, prerequisite is you will need to be rooted. I do have a video showing you how to do so. I'll link to it in the description, so you must have root access. And also, I do want to make a quick note that this is uh, a development issue, an early developer thing, so there is a possibility it could break your device. I really haven't heard of any uh, people using this and breaking their device, so the chances are very slim. But again, I just wanted to warn you that there's always a possibility when making these sort of modifications that something could go wrong. Gaining S off will allow you to unlock and lock your bootloader so uh, you can get it back to how it completely was. There is a way to do so and also uh, you can flash radios if you have S off and also there is a way uh, to get Super SID so you will eventually be able to flash other RUUs from different versions of the HTC One so if potentially uh, you find an RUU to uh, the AOSP, the vanilla Android variant of the HTC One, the Nexus experience, then you might be able to flash that on your device. So gaining SOF does open things up a lot to a lot of different possibilities. I'll have to get to that in later videos, but initially you will need to get S off. So let's go ahead and get into it. First of all, you need to download a file and put it onto your device, whether it be the internal or external storage of your device. You can just download it straight from your phone if you'd like to, or you can click the link in the description of the video and there's a download link. You can transfer it over to your device. That's exactly what I did. Shout out to IEFTM and the Revolutionary Dev team. They did a great job at getting this going. I will link to the thread in the description of the video as well. So big thanks to them. So once you transfer that file over to your phone, it should be called Rev1. That is what the, the exploit is called. I recommend downloading ROM Toolbox from the Play Store. That is what I usually use, especially because it has two tools that we are going to need throughout this video. First of all, a root browser. I haven't gone into this app yet, I don't believe. So here's our root browser. Then go ahead and just navigate to the SD card and then find that Rev1 file that we transferred onto our device. You can just press and hold on it. I'm just gonna hit copy. And then I'm gonna hit home to go back. And then I need to go ahead and paste this into a different folder. You're gonna wanna paste it inside the data and then scroll down and find local. So data, local, and then temp, the TMP file here. And then paste it inside of that. It says, please wait, copying, it'll copy it and paste it there. So once it's there, we can actually back out of the uh, root explorer. We don't need it anymore, but we can still stay in ROM toolbox and we need to go down to the terminal emulator, which is where we're gonna type in a few commands actually. So you'll see terminal session is running. I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in on what I am typing, uh, just so you guys can see it. On my website, I'll have a list of all the things you need to type in. If you don't wanna follow along with this video, you can check the link in the description. But first of all, you're gonna to need to type in SU and press enter, and uh, it will give us super user permissions. You should grant ROM Toolbox Lite super user access initially, which is why you do need root access first. So after you type SU, we're gonna need to type CD space forward slash, and then after the forward slash, you're gonna need to type data, another forward slash, local, and then another forward slash, and then that TMP. So what that's gonna do is put our terminal emulator inside that folder that we had just uh, pasted that file into. So you'll see data local temp right there. So now we are ready to type in some more commands. So now type in chmod space 755 space rev1. So just like that, chmod 755 rev1, press enter. And then after that we need to do one more, uh, period forward slash uh, rev1 R-E-V-O-N-E. -E. After that, hit space, and then go ahead and do a hyphen, and then you need to do a capital P after that. I know it's a little weird. Again, I'll paste it for those of you that are getting confused, but hopefully you can see that clearly. I can see it just fine on my screen. After that, press enter. You'll see it says Rev1 successful. Please reboot to continue. We're not done yet. So uh, what you can do now is actually just go ahead and press and hold that power button and restart. So reboot your phone, I'll be back once it's done. All right, so my phone has rebooted. I'm gonna go back into ROM Toolbox Lite and then go ahead and go down to the terminal emulator again. We need to go ahead and start things up again. 
So again, start with the same thing, SU, press enter, and after you type SU, go ahead and type CD space, forward slash, data, forward slash, local, forward slash, TMP. So again, gonna put us inside that folder that we were in, press enter, again, data, local, TMP right there. Now, all you have to do is type period, forward slash, rev1, R-E-V-O-N-E, -E. then press space, and then put a hyphen and a lowercase s, again, not uppercase, lowercase, a space after that, a zero, a space after the zero, and then another hyphen, and then a U, just like that. So, period, forward slash, rev1, hyphen s, zero, hyphen U, with spaces in between those, just like that. So, uh, you can press enter, and it says Rev1 successful once more, and we can reboot again. So what we can do now is actually we should be S off, and what happens is our bootloader might say tampered on it, which some people don't like. It's not a big deal for me, but uh, I can go ahead and show you how to get rid of that. First of all, I wanna show you that we should have S off now, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit restart, and hold volume down while it's rebooting, and it should take me into the bootloader. All right, now in the bootloader, you will see it is unlocked. It does say tampered up there. You can get rid of that. I'll show you how to do so right after uh, this, and you'll see it says S off. So there we go. That's awesome. Good news. I'm just going to press the power button, and I'm going to press reboot. So I'm going to reboot my device again and come back to the command prompt, and we will go ahead and get rid of that tampered up at the top. All right, boot it back up again. Go back into that ROM toolbox light. Go ahead and go into terminal emulator. Again, we need to go ahead and type in SU once more. And then you need to type in that same command prompt to get to that folder, that CD space, forward slash, data, space, forward slash, local, forward slash, TMP. Should get it down by now, so there you go. Press enter, back into that folder. And all you have to do is type period, forward slash, rev one space after that space you can put uh, hyphen lowercase t just like that very easy press enter successful you can now uh you should be tampered tampered should be gone now that's it so that's all we needed to do for that there's actually other easy commands you can do to actually get it relocked so it was like it was never s off and just completely locked i will link i will uh put written instructions on the quick command you can type in to get that in the description of the video, I'll just link to it on my website. Again, I'm going to hit restart. I'm going to show you that tampered's gone, but that should be it. You should now have S off on your HTC One, whatever variant you have. I don't know if it's going to be available on the Verizon variant once it comes out, but all the ones out now should work great. Again, no data is wiped at all. I'll make an annotation of that, but here you have it. Unlocked, S off, no tampered up at the top. We're good to go. So hopefully this worked. Uh, I'd really appreciate it if you subscribed to me. That would be awesome. You can also follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Google+. All links will be in the description of the video below. And as always, thanks for watching. Please uh, give this video a thumbs up.